Mr. Festa Savali, yeah. welcome to Africa 54. Thank you, my brother. You've been working on some uh, innovative uh, projects. Uh, uh, can you bring me up to speed? What is it that you've done uh, this uh, far? I have been working on some innovative projects in England. Um, I, myself, and my friend, Graham North, who is in the United Kingdom, who is my business partner, have been working on an electric vehicle. And this was a vehicle with design that nobody has ever done the type of vehicle before. So um, we actually used a Tesla motor, uh, which was 500 horsepower. So we upgraded that to 700 horsepower. And the vehicle runs on 99 batteries. And when you charge these batteries overnight, it takes you 400 miles by charge. And we have successfully done the prototype. But even though now it's not on the road, we couldn't put it on the road because um, in England, they are asking for about 100,000 pounds for type approval. And because we are just a small types of business thing, and we just want to see how we can bring some innovation to life using your local resources and all these things. So that's why, in fact, we thought we could bring the project to Africa here in Sierra Leone. I did everything on the engineering aspect of it and it running. And we are still working on the, on, the, on the technology because we want it to be high tech. We want everything to be electronics. We want it that you can control the car from your phone. So that's, that's what my, my partner is working on now. He's a high tech guy. He's really good at uh, IT engineering and all these things. When did you start uh, working on this project? It's almost two years now since uh, we start this project. You said it's an electric uh, version. Uh, you looked at uh, a Tesla model. Uh, does that mean that uh, you're going to be competing with Tesla or you uh, figured out a way to work uh, with Tesla so you could use uh, some of their things uh, on your car? We are thinking to actually uh, manufacture our own motor in our own way, our own design. But we decided to start with that motor because we, as I say, a pivot point to see how it works, how the technology works, and then you can learn from that and make your own. So we are not competing uh, with Tesla at all. He's more advanced, he's got money. What kind of challenges yeah. are you facing as a person trying to get into uh, car manufacturing and uh, at the same time looking at uh, electric vehicles? Because electric vehicles as they are, they come with a lot of challenges, trying to make sure that you get all the certifications required for it to be on the road. So what kind of challenges are you dealing with at this point? Well, first, I would like to put the financial aspect uh, uh, before that, because it's just me and my partner, and we are working from our pocket. You know, he's working in the IT industry, and uh, I am also working the, doing the motor mechanic, and so we both raise money to facilitate this project. It's quite challenging, which was why we thought that we could come uh, to Africa with this project, wherein you can fix it, try it on the road, see where the problems are, and then rectify the problems. Whereas in the United Kingdom, where we have fabricated this thing, they will need a type approval, which will cost about a hundred grand. You know, so affording that can be very difficult. Since we've been doing this thing, we haven't got any sponsorship. Yes, yeah, so we are doing everything out of our pocket. You see, so it's quite challenging to do it. But uh, I tell you, with determination, I mean, you can do it. The Sierra Leonean president has been at the forefront of uh, championing uh, innovation and technology in that country. Uh, have you reached out to him or have you reached out to his office to see if they can help you? No, I haven't done that yet. There is this thing about Africans and dream. We got dreams, but we sometimes don't believe in the dreams. The Africans don't believe in talking. They believe in what they see, the reality. So if I have to go meet whoever is in charge to say, listen, this is what we are good at. We want to do this A, B, C, and D. And we have already started this. So if they come and see, then they know it's real. So you have to prove to the authorities that you are capable of doing this thing and let them see something happening. Mr. Festa Savandi, thank you so much for your yeah. time. You're welcome, my brother.